Hey guys, it's Jake here. Adam. And we're two dudes that do reviews, and we are in Decatur, Illinois, and we are going to be sampling a lot of food over on, uh, what, Franklin? No, or just uh, Oakland. Oakland now. It is in the Colonial Plaza parking lot. And we're reviewing it today because this is the last day we can do it because they're closing for the winter, which most food trucks like this do, especially in the Midwest. Uh, just because they don't get a lot of business. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be crappy for the next few months, I think. <laughs> right, so we stopped by here, and we're going to take a taste test of everything they pretty much have there on their menu. As you can tell, we're going to get really fat today. More <laughs> fat. Fatter. <Yeah>. Fatter. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear us okay, because we're outside. We don't film a lot outside, but we got to do it. For now... What do we try first? Um, I'm good with trying the tenderloin first, actually. Okay. Let me get mine all set up. Like we said, they brought us a lot of food to taste, so. Look at the size of this. <laughs> it's my hand. These are one of those giant tenderloins. This you is... usually get the fair, and that's what I kind of like about Decatur's food truck options. You have a lot of fair food most of the year. Not all year, but it's a lot better in a week, a year. It is. That's what's great about all the food trucks. So I get a, like a lemon shake-up. Yeah. And what's cool about their lemon shake-ups, they're seedless. Their machine nice. takes, the, takes the seeds out of them. So. Ooh. <laughs> Always hate dr drinking a lemon shake-up and like the seed gets stuck in the straw. Oh, I know. And then you suck and then you take the straw out and you try blowing it out and it's still stuck in the damn straw. <laughs> Ready? Yep. <laughs> I got a little bit of something after getting all the way through the tenderloin. There's, uh, of course, we leave everything on it. There's pickles, onions, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Do you know what's sad is? I think I could probably eat all this. <laughs> I probably could too. And then we'll die, but it'll be a great video. Oh yeah, with everything on it, that's great. It's good. It's a nice breading, mm -hmm. but when you bite down in it, it's juicy, which is good. And it's a nice blend of stuff, especially with the pickle. Yeah, the pickle is what I think elevates everything else with it. I think that's with most tenderloins, but this is very, like you said, it's very um, juicy. Mm. This could turn into like a uh, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well. What do you rate this? <laughs> Um, it's gonna be the longest video ever. It's going to be. We have a ton of stuff to eat. Um, it's actually really good. That's um, what I would expect from any other, um, I don't want to say any other. It's actually a little better than what I would get at their competition right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little more, it's a little more savory, I think. Right. It's good. Oh, yeah. um, uh, what? Oh, no. It's, Go ahead. It's, I'm right there with you too. It's, uh, it's good. Yeah. I mean, that's all I can say. It's hard to judge a whole lot of flavor with the tenderloin because for the most part, they're all the same. But this is a uh, very juicy, like you said. Right, it's so, nice, because ready, of that, juicy. I, I give it a four out of five. I give it a four out of five too. And the only reason I'm not giving it a five out of five is because I don't, when I go somewhere, I hardly get it. Yeah, a I'm not a big tenderloin fan. Right. But if I was given this, I would eat it. Like I really oh, would just want to finish it, but <laughs> I've got, 400 other pounds of food. Yeah, so we so. got to move on to other stuff. 